Hello and welcome back to Saturnalia. It has been well over a week. I don't know the exact amount of time since the last time we recorded. Um, I explained this several videos ago in Victoria 3 and my... Uh, what's the other game I'm playing? Oh, Pentiment. Um, in, in both of those series, I explained what happened uh, vaguely. I mean, it, it, I didn't go into super extensive detail and I'm not going to here. But basically, I just had something come up that required me to go out of town for a couple of days, and uh, so I my my recording schedule was interrupted. My upload schedule for, for Victoria Three and Saturnalia were both interrupted, and then when I came back, uh, by the time I was back, Pentiment had already come out, and I've, I've been really looking forward to Pentiment for months. Um, so I, I went hard on recording that and on catching up on Victoria Three, um, and that is basically what I did all week. And now I finally have a chance to uh, take a step back, and uh, I haven't recorded anything in. A day or two and uh, now I'm gonna go back to recording Saturnalia because I'm not gonna abandon this game I know it's been by the time this goes up presumably at least a week if not more since the last Saturnalia episode went up but I do really like this game and I, I hope to finish it because I, I don't think it's a very long game um, so yeah here we go now let's before we dive in oh I didn't know you could manually reshuffle the village why would you want to do that I guess if you just have a horrible setup does that also like free all your people Surely it does. Otherwise, what would be the point? Um, we're not going to do that, though. Uh, <laughs> all I remember is our last episode. We we got to the church with Anita. We met Damiano. And he turned out to be a bastard. Because, of course, he did. He sicked the monster on us because he didn't want it to get out that he got, a, he got Anita pregnant. Um, because he's a married man. And... Uh, we rescued, or we, we, we got the naloxone for Sergio. I don't know if, I don't think that was the last episode. I think it was the one before that. But long story short, Sergio's our only playable character right now because Anita and Paul have both been captured by the Goat Man. And um, Paul, I believe, is like permanently out of commission until we reshuffle. Anita, uh, TBD, because I don't know where she is. So I think the goal for Paul right now is or for excuse me for sergio is to um potentially go to the castle or something like that let's pull up our uh sprawling okay i guess she's dead okay that answers that question we didn't know what was going on with anita but she has a skull that can only mean she's dead i assume so i guess she's done until we uh until we reshuffle um, and then Paul is, is out of commission because he's, like, gone insane and being turned into a goat boy or something. He has a mask on. He's at the altar. Uh, I, I'm, I'm still annoyed, even though it's been over a week. I, I, I still feel the anger in my blood because we... I feel like the game kind of cheated us. We were doing really well, and we, we had a couple of amazing escapes from the goat, only for it to screw us on RNG uh, with the spawn point a couple of times. But that's okay. That's the way she goes. Um, Sergio, Bruno is the former lover, I believe, that we're still... I didn't realize he was the Lord of Gravois Castle. I, we knew he was an older man. Okay, that answers some questions, because we were thinking maybe he was a member of the clergy or something like that, although I think we decided probably not. Um, but so we're trying to get into the castle with Sergio to try to find Bruno, or uh, at least um, some sort of hint of, of where he might be or if we if he could help us figure out anything yes uh castle library where bruno bisani conducted his studies i guess that makes sense we so we knew we had to go to the castle library for bruno so i guess it makes sense that he would live there i just figured maybe he worked there or something why does that look like a frankenstein table that doesn't look like a library actually i guess it is just like a a desk i don't know what that is on the desk though um, yeah, I would not be surprised if we just get got, there's Paul turning into whatever, whatever he has become until now, until now you are, wow, I can't believe it. I, I don't remember what Obi-Wan says in Revenge of the Sith. There is a point in my life, the majority of my life where I had 
like not even exaggerating every single line of that movie memorized until now you have become the very thing you swore to destroy something like that no i think that's just the sound that the altar makes when you get near it i'm trying to get to the castle and i'm trying desperately to remember how to do that it's it's closer to this part of town than than uh the part of town I guess that blood is leading to the altar. Usually, that's how you find the altar. There's a map. So that is what we will head towards. Um, I definitely don't think I'm going to be like at my uh, most agile slipperiness here. Because I don't remember how to play this game. But I think I remember enough. Except clearly... Really? This is towards the villa. I guess maybe if we turn here, we can get to the castle. Hold F to cover your eyes. Walk into a wall during an encounter to crouch. Bro. Okay, this is the first time we've done this. I'm terrified to turn the camera. Cover your eyes to avoid seeing the creature. It's no use now. It's already started hunting me. Well. That is quite bad. I believe we turn right here. Yes, okay. I just... I don't want to hit a dead end. And I don't really know where I am. And I also don't know how close that thing is to me. Last time we learned... But this could be a very early reshuffle. Which honestly probably would be for the best long term. But just for my pride, I don't want it to happen. I remember as Paul last time, we... This goat thing chased us forever. It used to only chase us for, like, a couple seconds. You know, if we if we could shake it... Oh, God, this is not where I want to be. This is not where I want to be. This is not where I want to be, either. This is bad. But also, like, is this thing actually chasing me? Am I being punked? Remember, Sergio has hella stamina, so don't be afraid to run for a long time. Just don't let it go all the way down. Because then it takes a while to build back up. I would like to get to the villa, if at all possible. I'm still not convinced this thing is actually chasing me. Is this like a bug? I have literally not seen it. We're going to go to the villa. I guess there's actually probably a hiding spot in the pharmacy. But I'm just going to go into the villa. Surely there's a hiding spot here. And if he gets us here, so be it. Okay, yeah. I think that honestly was a bug. Because something weird happened when he was crouching. Like, the, the camera shifted back to normal. And, um... But I didn't stop pushing any buttons or, or change anything. And then also, like, the music was playing, but the guy was never... He never showed up. So, yeah, I don't think he was actually chasing us. I think the game was just confused. But now that means we have to... A, we wasted several matches, at least two or three. And now we have to go back to the castle. Which, thankfully, was... We were, like, right up here at this intersection when we started. Let me memorize it again, because he's already forgotten. And unlike Anita, he can't recall things he's previously memorized. So yeah, I believe... I don't know if sprinting is like more likely to attract attention. I feel like, you know, it would make sense if that were the case. No, dude. Did that work? That's a, the, the, the mechanics and the UI and everything in this game leave a lot to be desired, in my opinion. Oh no, this is the dead end where we were with Paul. It's all flooding back to me now. I guess we go this way. You would think I would remember. It's over here, right? Yeah, because this is where the ancient tree is. Before I forget, let me just... Okay, yeah. 
This is the school, I believe, the creepily lit blue house. I feel like I'm making very slow progress in this game. Okay, Anita, what did she say? About the castle. Something about there's a side entrance? Paul should have taken a picture of it. Okay, well, I'm literally right here, so I could just go look at it. But Anita was like, there's a entrance through a, the bar or something, she said? God, I'm never going to remember this now. I, mean, I guess I could just go back and watch the episode. And I don't think it would be connected to her. The main gate closes automatically. Bruno would always remind us to use the path around the village. Let me see if Sergio has anything to say. It says that Sergio said that, but he definitely did not. When I came back to Gravoy, I didn't expect to enjoy it, but... Here we are, the castle entrance. Paul could photograph this perfectly if he were here. Okay, why does he need to, though? I guess it's like a map that we could reference? Vossiet Key. So we're right here. Let's look for another entrance. An alternate history to the castle through the bar. Okay, now let's see if we can remember how to get to the bar. We found the bar on accident. It was not a place we could, like, intentionally search for. But it was, it was like, upstairs. We found it as Anita, and the creature showed up while we were exploring it. And we haven't gone back since then. I believe it was maybe this direction? Oh, this looks like it's just like a dead end. Or circling back around. The ancient trees playing some incredibly creepy noise. I don't really want to go in there again. Maybe it was this direction. I I'm, I'm really don't want to light a match. I think it was definitely upstairs, so maybe it's this right here. Yes. No. I need something to... A drywall spatula. So this is somewhere new. And it's like a police crime scene or something. Where is the damn bar? If I find a map, I would probably be able to find my way there. Now we're back over by Tecla's place. No. I'm st I still don't know how this mechanic works. Come on, dude. Are you- are you dead ass? How does this work? I guess you can only cover your eyes for a limited amount of time. For some reason. Well, it sounds like the guy's gone. I'm not sure if things could get any worse at this point. Yeah, I agree. I, I really think we should just reset, but my, my pride won't let me do it. Is this it? This might be it. You know, this is, this is Town Hall, isn't it? Yes. There's no one for us to call, because Anita's dead and Paul is approaching death's door, slash something much worse. I just want a map. It, this is the same spot. Oh my god. A map, please. And you, you got one of them dar maps, though? One of them newfangled technologies. Okay, there's a map. And we're just going to go back to where we were. We've reset uh, so many times. Okay, bar, bar, bar. Memorize the way to the Principessa Bar. It should be pretty close to the castle. There's those figures that we can't ever reach walking around. Not super surprising. Okay, I believe it's we're going to have to go this way again. Yeah, it's like exactly where we were. I just somehow couldn't find it. I don't want the phone. I want... Are you sure? It's literally like we were on right on top of it? Is it this building right here? I think this is it. The question is, how do I get up there? It's this building right here. I'm almost certain of it. Unless it's this building. Nope. 
Is he walking extra slow? Okay, he was. Is it that building where the light is? Dude. What? This is back where I just was! We're about to lose... I don't, I don't know how to crouch. Like, this cannot be the way this mechanic is supposed to work. Something, I'm missing something. Or the game is missing something. Probably both. Okay, but he's gone. And of course the bar. That's the closest we've ever gotten to that person. Which one of you is the damn bar? This is not a- okay. That's- This is just getting ridiculous at this point. This is the 100% that dead end that we've gone down a million times. Now we're back here. Where, where are all the maps? I feel like we were drowning in maps at one point. Isn't there one right around here? Wait, what is this place? Oh, this is the bar. No, it's not. Is it? I think it is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it was not as high up as I thought it was. Uh, okay, we've already looked at that. The statue of, like, a pagan tradition. But now, of course, I've forgotten exactly what I'm supposed to be looking for here. Some sort of hidden path. I don't even know if we would have access to... What the fuck? Are you shitting me? She's been in here this whole time? Ugh, this stupid game, I swear. Beat my record yet? Sergio, I thought you didn't have time to hang out tonight. Okay, so this is someone we know. Look, if anything weird happens, just go home, okay? No way. My father's probably there. I've got to do something to convince her this is serious. We were literally not even three steps away from here with Anita, and the monster showed up, and I, I just never returned. Talk to Claudia's father. Where is he? Okay, this could be something for us to do. Borrow Nick, Claudia's father, and Mara's brother. Gabrielle's daughter, fresh out of high school. Okay, I guess Gabrielle Lang is a, is a male name. I guess, like, Gabriel, okay. Um, obviously the coolest kid in this godforsaken village. How old do we think she is? Because I, I feel like all of the other characters are in their, like, mid-twenties at least. She looks younger. Claudia's house. How are we supposed to find this? Okay, so it looks like it's not in like the middle of town because there's nothing this way. But that's not helpful at all, man. How am I supposed to find that? Can I can I talk to you? Dude, this game is a little too minimalist. But then it's like extremely not minimalist in other ways where it's like, here, this is exactly the tool you need and here's where it is. But then it's just, other than that, it's just like, hey, good luck. <laughs> We're not telling you anything. Which I, I, on some level, respect, but also is like incredibly annoying. What if I could just call him? I kind of doubt it. But I could, what if I called a bar? I can't seem to get through. Oh, she's standing right there, bro. She left you on red. Bro. Come on. What is the exclamation mark in our inventory? I guess I haven't checked that. Okay, sounds like it's passing. Um, well, there's a couple of things. Burned, okay, so that's what that place with the police tape was. Years ago, it burned down and was then condemned. 
and Lover's Lane. A path behind the bar leading to the castle. Okay, behind the bar. And that's where we would find the drywall spatula, apparently. So we should just go back to that. Gabriel might be around looking for her. So he's just supposed to... Excuse me, sir. Are you Gabriel? That man there. That's Cla What the hell? Excuse me, Mr. Miarai? You're Claudia's father. Correct? I'm trying to watch him and... Oh my god. That was the response of somebody with something to hide. Okay, so he said, get away from me, leave me alone. Interesting. That was really annoying because I couldn't read the dialogue and run at the same time. Okay. Well, now at least I'm fairly confident I can get back to the castle and the bar. Maybe not the bar. Well, let's just retrace our steps. So we came from here. That has to be the bar, right? They said behind the bar. Lover's Lane. Seems locked from the other side. Come on, man. Now we're... This, this, this game is driving me crazy. Where was the thing about Lover's Lane? Was it over here? Nope. It was here, okay. A path behind the bar. There's the bikes. I guess let's look for another area, but I don't think we're going to be able to... I think we're probably going to have to find the dad. Seems locked from the other side. Yeah. I just don't think we have access to the other side. Let's look at the map. So, the bar is right there. Yeah, look, that gate is the way through, and it's locked, and there's no other... Without going through the castle, there's no way behind that gate. So I feel like we would need to talk to the dad, or get into the castle and go all the way through, which we clearly cannot do. What is this right behind me? The school. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Well, I don't really know what to do. I guess we just wander around trying to find the dead. Wait, is this the house? Alright, well, there's a hiding spot here. That's good. Enough. No. But what does their house look like? No, I want the house, dude. How do you navigate this thing? I swear this was a picture of their house a minute ago. I'm so confused. Remember when I said we were for sure going to finish this game? It's testing my patience. We are currently at 24 minutes. So I guess I just aimlessly wander around. Oh, look who's here. Let's go get in the dumpster. Oh, it's you! Where was the dumpster? Get away from me! Leave me alone! Okay, bro, well, I'm trying to hide from a spawn of Satan right now, so can you shut the fuck up? I guess I just have to chase him. Sergio's a good character to do that with. I just keep finding him at poor times. But he seems like he shows up like it's a, like a scripted encounter. I mean, not really scripted, but like he's gonna he's gonna show up pretty frequently until you until you chase him down because that's like how you progress. So I don't think we have to worry too hard. We just need to walk around until we see him, and hopefully the monster leaves us alone long enough for this to happen. Hey, there you are. No, the camera. This game is so jank. We might... Oh, okay. Excuse me, Mr. Mirai, you're Claudia's father, correct? I was... Leave me alone. Get away from my home. How are we gonna do... Okay, well, at least now we know where his house is. 
There must be something important. Find a way into the home. Get away from me, leave me alone. Seems locked from the other side. Everything's locked from the other side. Alright, at least I, now I feel like we've actually like made progress. Okay, now we know it's right next to the hardware store. Must stay quiet and hidden. I have a feeling I should observe Mr. Mirai. Interesting. You see, the game just like tells you stuff. So like, I can't like crouch. Oh, okay, but there he goes. So if he sees us... We're probably, like... He's nervous. Didn't even remember to shut the door. Oh! Okay, well... Interesting. We got a coin. Find a way in the house. Done. Find a way to convince Claudia. Okay, so now we're here. What about this? The monster's about to show up. Surely he's not going to come in here, right? That would be insane. I, I refuse to believe this is how this mechanic is intended. Alright, it's gone. Whoa. Do not like that camera angle. Gabriel Marais. Gabrielle's Marais insect collection. Good to know. Claudia's house. Okay, that's where the house is. That's his room. Let's go to the other room first. This is Claudia's room. Claudia's room. I think she'll turn out just fine. Got some dynamite or firecrackers, whatever. Very on brand for a kid. A pasta necklace, a handicraft made by school children as a gift. Maybe that's how we could convince her? Although that doesn't really make any sense. Hey, look, we broke into your room. Do you trust me now? <laughs> what? Okay. Why did it say something in the first place? Gabriel's room. Claudia's father's bedroom. It suits him, which isn't a compliment. I mean, it just looks like a bedroom. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Mara's belongings. A box full of toys and other memorabilia. What is, what is, okay. So I bet when we push this light switch, something will happen, like a door will open maybe? Or maybe it's just something in here. Like maybe that other door that we couldn't get, oh wait, the bed has something. Mara's diary. I dreamed about the Amutadore again. He lies on my chest and steals my doll. Show Claudia her aunt's diary. Wait, that's her aunt? I thought it was hers. Oh, Mara. Okay, yeah, sorry. I, I was getting... Gabriel's sister and Claudia's aunt. Okay. Mara... Okay, she's 16. No, that's... Oh, this is when her aunt was 16. Sorry, I'm, I'm, my brain's all scrambled. I dreamed about the Immutadori again. Her parents didn't listen to her. Then the nightmares began. I'm not sure how that's going to convince someone. Alright, well, it's probably not good to leave the light on. Let him know we're here. The diary belonged to Claudia's aunt Mara. Dates to at least age 16. It's obsession. A plague of endless dreams. Always with the same monster. Could this somehow relate to the festival? Claudia has got to see it. Mirai children. Oh, oh, okay. I was about to say Tekla and the Mirai children. So I was, I was, I was going to say, isn't Mara... Tekla's sister? That's who we're looking for, right? And she was the one who, like, went crazy. So now it's all kind of makes sense. So her aunt is the girl who went crazy and is missing. And uh, we are trying to find her. 
and we're gonna use her somehow her diary as evidence to convince Claudia that like you want to help us I'm annoyed that that picture or that I looked at that picture when I did because I was, it was literally coming out of my mouth I wonder if this is Tekla's sister um, so this is where Claudia and her father live yeah all right well we will go back to Claudia and then we will probably end the episode because we're already pushing 30 minutes if not over it at this point yeah, we're at 30 and a half, so we're just going to run back quickly. It was right next... Oh, wait, no, that was... I was going to say it was right next to the hardware store, but that was their house. This is the church. That's not where we want to be. We want to go back towards the pharmacy. And then we want to go this way. And then we want to go... I don't think this is the right way anyway. The, the crouch mechanic has literally not worked since they introduced it. Tekla, can you do something for me? Like, point me to the bar. Alright, when I was pointing myself to the bar, it told me to go this way, and then I was like, that doesn't make any sense, but then somehow we wound up there, so maybe it's right there. Perfect. I'm, I'm learning slowly, painfully slowly. Claudia, where are you? You've got to be... Joking. She must be hiding somewhere around here. Maybe in the back? Okay, but I can't get to the back. Oh no. That's really want to We got some There isn't an ordinal number because the inception is unknown. Excuse me? Are we graphing formula? Okay, well we got a energy drink, I guess. We haven't been in here. Maybe this is how you get to the back. Ah, yep, the path's still here. This takes me back. I was so grown up then. Alright, let's go. Let's dig deeper into some old wounds. I used the same path to meet Bruno long ago. I suppose that makes the me the paramour in this story. Alright, let's go ahead and open that for future use, and then we will end the episode here. We're going to try to find Claudia, and also get into the castle and find out more about Bruno. And, uh, potentially... Um... I mean, eventually we're going to have to reshuffle, I guess. I mean, it'll probably just happen organically. But because Paul and Anita are, are out of commission permanently, as far as I understand, until we reshuffle. So, um, but we'll go as long as we can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry again about the long break, uh, specifically with this series. Hopefully that's not the case. It is still not going to be an everyday upload like Pentiment and Victoria 3 is. I'm hoping to stay on every other day. We will see. Uh, of course, the monster's showing up, so I'm going to go ahead and save and quit. But thank you guys, and if you're enjoying the series, please leave a like and subscribe and comment, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.